starts now. Shelby County deputies shoot and kill a suspect while serving a warrant in the Cherokee neighborhood this afternoon. This is according to Sheriff Floyd Bonner. He was at a press conference this afternoon, in fact. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Darcy Thomas. And I'm Daryl Green. This is a story we've been keeping a very close eye on following since we brought you this as breaking news at 5. Let's go to Fox 13's Jack Bill. You live on Barron Avenue. That's where it all happened. Jack, the sheriff says that suspect tried to drive his car into the deputies trying to serve that warrant. Yeah, Sheriff Bonner says this all happened at around 7.30 when those deputies were serving what he called a high-risk narcotics search warrant. That warrant resulted in a death, and now the TBI is investigating. Upon arrival on the scene, a man waiting in a vehicle sped toward a team of SWAT deputies. Deputies fired at the vehicle, fatally wounding the driver. Dozens of squad cars headed to Barron Avenue after that deadly shooting. Officers in bulletproof vests surrounded a small shopping center and taped off blocks. Sheriff Bonner says that suspect never fired a shot, but investigators found guns at the scene. Several firearms with high-capacity magazines have been found by investigators, along with a handgun equipped with a Glock switch. A Glock switch converts a pistol into an automatic weapon. Bonner says deputies also found a, quote, significant amount of drugs and that the search continued after the shooting. Four people were detained, including one who was searched and loaded into a squad car right in front of a Fox 13 camera. On top of that, investigators are still trying to identify several people who ran away from the scene. There should be charges forthcoming. Bonner says he's not sure how many deputies fired shots during the incident, but he says they'll be put on administrative leave while the TBI investigates the shooting, which is standard procedure. Our thoughts and prayers are with all that, were, that are involved in this tragic incident. You can see Barron Avenue is now reopened. This whole area was taped off for hours during that investigation. Now, uh, Sheriff Bonner would not say exactly which building they were serving that search warrant out, but we're going to put together more from the scene and from Sheriff Bonner for tonight at 10. Fox 13's Jack Bill, you live. Thank you, Jack.